Hey everybody, this is Pastor Tyler Baker of Valiant Baptist Church, and we are located in the Jacksonville, Florida area. So I'm coming to you with a video, very quick hopefully, on the subject of Black Lives Matter. Now this has been a hot topic, and the reason being is because they are all over the media. And another thing is that they are only being shown or portrayed in a positive light. They are, have been on the side of the victim. They're trying to procure sympathy for this group. And I want to make a quick video warning Christians out there. And the title of the video is why no Christian should support Black Lives Matter. No Christian should be caught dead supporting this evil satanic group. I'm going to give you five reasons why. Number one is the origin. It has a bad foundation or it has a bad root and a co corrupt tree cannot bring forth good fruit. You say, why do you say that? Well, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but the three founders of the movement of Black Lives Matter are all three lesbians. They're all three homosexuals. Now, I'm not going to debate the topic on whether or not homosexuality is a lifestyle approved by God. The Bible says that homosexuals are an abomination. The Bible teaches in the Old Testament that they deserve the, the death penalty, and that's reiterated in the New Testament. God destroyed an entire city because they were, a homo, they were a bunch of homosexuals. And in the New Testament, God reiterates and says, hey, I destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah as an example to anyone who would afterwards live ungodly. So you wonder what God thinks about homosexuality today? Go read Genesis chapter number 19, and that'll tell you what God thinks about it today. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Point number two is that it brings forth bad fruit. As I said, it has a bad origin. It has a bad root. So of course, the fruit that it brings forth is going to be bad. There was a prominent leader that was caught in the movement of Black Lives Matter in sex trafficking. He was an upper leader, someone up in the executive, up very high uh, uh, position of authority within Black Lives Matter. His name is Charles Wade. And this man was caught with human trafficking. He was caught with not only human trafficking, sex trafficking, prostitution. Not only that, it was of a minor. There was a little girl that he was selling for sexual purposes. But you don't hear about that in the news. Yet this is a higher up within the movement on staff as an activist for Black Lives Matter. So why would you expect anything different? The root's bad. A corrupt tree cannot bring forth good fruit. So it just makes sense that it was founded by a bunch of perverts. What do you, who do you think they're going to hire? A bunch of stinking perverts. So it's filth. It's scum. That's why you shouldn't support it. Number three is this. It's a Marxist movement. Now, what do you, what, what does Marxist mean? Well, uh, if you haven't seen this, there's an interview that one of the founders of Black Lives Matter did just a few years back, not even that long ago, just a couple, two, three years ago. While she was being interviewed, uh, she uh, 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 revealed that her and the other owners, the other founders, were actually trained Marxists. I like myself. And Alicia in particular are trained organizers. Um, we uh, are trained Marxists. Um, we are what is Marxists. Well, Marxist comes from Karl Marx. Karl Marx is the pioneer of what we call modern communism. The movement of Black Lives Matter is a communist movement. It is a Marxist movement, and the founders are not only homosexuals and perverts, but they're also Marxists. They are a bunch of communists. So that's point number three. Point number four is that the they are huge supporters of the trans movement. You get on their website, and all they want to keep talking about, not only the trans movement, is LGBTQ rights. Supporters of every freak and fruit that exists in this world. That's point number four. Point number five is that they are a pro-abortion organization. The founders are pro-abortion, and they believe in abortion. Now, that's pretty funny that they supposedly are uh, uh, standing up for black lives, right? They're supposed to be defending and, and, and activists to get justice for black lives that are taken and black lives that die. When's the last time you see the Black Lives Matter uh, organize or schedule a protest in front of your local Planned Parenthood office? Never. Why? Because they're pro-abortion. Margaret Sanger was the founder of what we know today as Planned Parenthood. Margaret, Margaret Sanger was on record as a racist. She spoke at KKK rallies, and not only that, you can read through her writings, and she makes statements and is found quoting, quote being quoted, uh, uh, saying things along the lines of that blacks are weeds that need to be exterminated. Do you think it's a coincidence that the majority of the Planned Parenthood offices are highly concentrated towards 
African American or black populated black populated areas? Do you think that that's a coincidence? Not even slightly. So if they really cared about black lives, do you know where they would be? They would be down at their local Planned Parenthood office protesting all the black babies that are being murdered through uh, the, the, the sick brainchild of some eugenicist, racist woman, Margaret Sanger. So here's the point. Black Lives Matter is as far from a Christian organization as could possibly be. It is, is a devilish, earthly, satanic organization that no Christian should even be near. They shouldn't touch that organization with a 10-foot pole. God bless you and have a good day.